So first of all, um, today's session is about the mobile business dashboard walkthrough. And there will be two parts that we will cover, right? The two main parts will be first the business center, okay? The business center, which we will show mainly using the desktop view, which is what's shown on the screen right now. And then in the second part, Amelia will be walking through with you, uh, with you the mobile business dashboard using the mobile view, okay? Now, the purpose of us doing this session for you is because there are a ton of wonderful features, support tools, and reports that have been made available for all our leaders to track your business better. However, at the same time, we are also aware that not everyone is aware of these tools, right? And also not everyone has been aware that since December of last year, the e-commerce team has created this wonderful brand new tool called the Mobile Business Dashboard that is a very fantastic complement to this business center dashboard that you see on the screen. Okay, so first of all, um, let me walk you through the business center desktop view. Now, if you have your phones with you, we also would like to invite you to follow along with us. Okay, uh, log into the website and uh, follow along with us if you can. All right, so the best way to learn is to try it out yourselves. So first of all, we have the My Performance Dashboard. So this My Performance Dashboard, if you log in using mobile, that's the very first thing you will see when you come into this Business Center page. So what is this top dashboard all about? It's all about tracking your current month's performance for that month, okay? So you would see your GPV, you would see your Personal PV, Ruby PV, Leadership PV, all the breakdowns is stated there clearly for you. And you can change the view as you like. Now, what follows after that is the Core Plus tool. And we are very proud to announce to you that the Core Plus tool has recently been updated. That's right. It has been updated to reflect the Core Plus early incentives for performance year 2024 which means your path to bronze as well as your bronze consistency incentive is already reflected there. You can start tracking those. And how about leader incentives for Performance Year 2024? For that, I would ask for your patience and understanding as it is coming very, very soon. Not yet, but coming very, very soon. All right? So next, we have MyBiz. Now, MyBiz is another tool which you can use to monitor your downline LOS. Okay, you can see your LOS inside, you can see your higher award tracking, as well as your new FAA tracking and your business income, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So quite a few features packed into this nifty little tool called MyBiz over here. All right. Now the third thing you will see, and which isn't there before, is the live your best retailing campaign. Okay, now this is here because right now, as you may be aware we are currently running the Live Your Best Retailing Campaign. So the team has created this nice little dashboard for you to monitor and track your progress. And for this tool, we highly recommend to view this particular tool in landscape format. That's right, landscape format. Okay, now next, beneath that is this section called Downline Group Management. And under this section are a whole bunch of reports, right? You have downline order tracking report. You have new sign up coupon status report. You have your downline ALP status report, reapplication report, right? So that's on one side. On the other side, you have who's new. What's who's new? Basically, who are the new ABOs who have joined your team this month? And then who's close? Basically, who's close is who are the ABOs in your team who are just 25% away from the next achievement level, okay? So you would want to follow up more closely with them, make sure they achieve the next achievement level and do not fall short. Then you have birthdays. I think this requires no further explanation. And finally, you have renewals. Who are the ABOs and APCs under your team who, is, who are eligible to be renewing already? Okay, so now you can see that there are a whole bunch of reports here, eight of them all together. And what's exciting is that Amelia's team, the e-commerce team, they have extracted 
the top few most frequently used reports and tools into a very wonderful tool called the Mobile Business Dashboard, which again, she will walk through very soon. Okay, just before that, let me just finish off this mobile business, uh, this business center desktop view for you. Over here, you'll see a whole bunch of quick actions. I just like to highlight those that are probably of the highest interest to all of you, and that would be your um, APC list and probably your ALS points tracking. Okay, and finally, underneath all of that, you have your business resources, which are basically reference material organized into three sections. General section, which is for all ABOs. You have your platinum session, uh, which are basically resources meant for platinums and above. And if you are a diamond, there you will see another section called the diamond corner. Okay? So in a nutshell, that is the business center. And what you have seen is the desktop view. Now, what's exciting is what Amelia is about to show you next. And so for this next segment, please welcome Amelia. Hello, good evening to all the leaders over here in the hall and also not to forget those that join online virtually via Zoom as well. So good, good evening, my name is Amelia from e-commerce team. So today I'm going to walk you through on some of the reports that in mobile business dashboard. Thanks to Chu Yang for working uh, on all the reports in business center page. So in order to support all the leaders over here to grow your MW business and to track all your business uh, key, some key indicator for your business anywhere and any place that you want. So we have identified some of the reports in Business Center. Then we have made them into mobile view and we call it mobile business dashboard. So this means that it could be in the morning when you wake up, then you can just turn on your your phone, then you can easily access to this report, then you can take immediate actions to follow up your downline or even view your performance as well. So before I start my demo, so you can feel free to open your phone, then you can follow us uh, throughout the demo session, okay? So how, how can we navigate to this mobile business dashboard? So first of all, you need to log into our Mway website. So after you log in, when you go to business center page, this is the place where you can see that is an orange bar at the top. So to navigate to mobile business dashboard, so you just need to click on it. So this will be the first screen that you will see after your mobile business dashboard launch, okay? So for the home screen, you will see your monthly performance over here. So similar like what Chu Yang has explained just now, my performance is um, business center page, right? So this has a similar, uh, similar information as well. However, we have enhanced the interface to make it easier for you to view. So you can see here all the information, even with the bar charts over here to show you where you are for your performance. So in order to track your PVVV or group PVVV, you can just scroll from this screen then you can see all the information over here. And you can even see the breakdown of your P personal PVVV as well. How can you do that? Just click on the plus signs over here. Then you can see the breakdown for your personal PVV even by country. Okay? So same goes to group PVVV as well. So you just need to click on this. Then you can see your group PVVV breakdown by country too. Okay, so next I'm going to introduce to you is who's close reports. So when approaching month end, I'm pretty sure all the leaders over here, you would like to track what is your downline performance, right? So you want to see where they are to the next uh, bonus level. So you can just navigate to this report, who's close. So from here, you can see all your downline ABOs in this screen. So for example, this screen shows that you have four ABOs that close within 25% to the next bonus level. So you can clearly see for each of this downline ABO, so where they are with the progress bar over here and what are their PV, their PVV and GPV as well. You can also see 
who are their sponsor, including their sponsor information as well. So after you look through all this information, then you feel that, okay, it's time to reach out to the downline sponsor, right? How can you do that? We have a features to contact the sponsor via WhatsApp or even call directly. So these are the two options. So by clicking on that, then it will redirect you to WhatsApp with some pre-populate message as well. So if you want to view more for this reports, right? We have built in a features for you, the filter where you can sort by next bonus level or even the performance bonus as well. So you can choose the filter on which group of the, your downline that you want to view. So this is as simple as that. So next, uh, after, okay, you monitor your downline group, okay, where they are right now. And I believe membership is also very important, right? So we want to make sure that their membership is updated or even follow up with them or remind them if their membership is about to expire, right? So in order to help you with that, we have this report called Renewal Reminder. So this Renewal Reminder will show you all your downline ABO and APC that eligible for renewal, okay? So when I say APC, right, it's not just your frontliner APC. It will also include APC from your downline as well, so which means entire LOS. So you can see all the information in here. Okay, so from this screen, you can clearly see, for example, this ABO, they have the membership expired. When will it be? And you, can you see this indicator over here? So this shows that this ABO, the membership is under late renewal. And the consent, no consent means this downline haven't provided any renewal consent. So this is very critical, right? You have to make sure, okay, follow up with this downline, make sure they renew their membership. So if you want to help your downline uh, to, to renew on behalf, for sure you need consent, right? How do you request consent from your downline? Okay, for this renewal consent, just click on this request consent. We have built in three features for you to go and reach out to your downline. So you can reach out to the downline via WhatsApp, SMS, email, or even copy the link for you to text them. So let me just quickly show you how to request consent via WhatsApp, okay? So for WhatsApp, just click on it. Once you click on it, it will open up your WhatsApp in your mobile. Then after that, it will have the pre-populate meshes over here. So you just need to review all the message, then just click send. So after you click send, this will be the message. We have even this link for your downline to go and click and give consent. Wow, uh, wonderful, Amelia. Leaders, you're all good so far? Amazing, right? Okay, uh, I have one question after uh, coming to this page, right? Uh, so let me ask this question on, on your behalf. Uh, Amelia, um, when I see this, this is an amazing example, right? This is, you've, you've got all these three populated messages all crafted for our, the convenience of our leaders. Yep. Uh, this example is in English. Yes. Are there messages in Bahasa and Mandarin that has been pre-created for them as well? Yes, we do have. So just now, like what I show, when you open up the WhatsApp, right, the pre-populate message will be in three languages for you. English, Malay, and Chinese. So you just need to review and based on your preference on how you communicate with your downline, right, then you can just use that template. You just click send. So it's, it's, it's that simple. Right, so basically you can just edit the message as you like, Correct. select the language, delete what you don't want, and just send, right? Yes. And so this is an example of what the uh, receiving ABO or APC uh, will see, correct? And yes. there will be a link there. And what happens if they were to click on that link? Okay, so what will happen after your downline receive this message? So when they click on this link, so they will need to log into the website. So once they log into the website, straight away, they will see the renewal consent page. So all they need to do is just tick on the checkbox. So just this is all that they need to do. So once they tick on the checkbox, you can renew on behalf, which means consent given. Okay. 
Okay, so in this report, we also have built in a few uh, filters as well. So you can see if you want to view more information or membership based on maybe their renewal status. So for those that have auto renewal turned on, they have late renewal or even eligible for renewal. So you can choose all the filters over here, whether they have consent given, this is also uh, will be provided then, uh, and also membership as well. So you just need to apply the filter and then uh, the list will be updated. All right, wonderful. And uh, one more question. Will our ABO leaders through this mobile business dashboard perform the renewal on behalf of their downlines? Okay, so for this report, it's mainly for the leaders to follow up with the downline or even the sponsor of the downline. So if the leaders want to renew on behalf, then he or she will still need to go into the website and go to group renewal page to renew on behalf and make payment. But however, we made it simple for you. So when you are in this screen, all you need to do is navigate to the top right corner. When you click on this icon, then it will straight away bring you to the group renewal page in our website. So you just need to go there and then check which downline that you want to uh, renew on behalf, then just make payment, proceed from there. Okay, so next will be the report, downline order tracking report. So occasionally, maybe you will receive uh, requests or questions from your downline asking you, oh, I have placed uh, this order online and what is the status now? But I still haven't received. So you want to help your downline, right? So how you can help it, help them, which means you can access to this report, downline order tracking report here. It will show you all your entire LOS, all the ABO and APC, and then with the order button next to it. So you, for example, here, so if this ABO would like to know, okay, what is the status? You want to help your downline, right? So you just need to click on the order buttons over here. Then at the bottom, you can clearly see how many orders has been placed for this ABO, then with all the order type, PBVV, volume to who, all this information can be clearly seen. So if you want to know what is the order status, you can just click on view details, then you can see all the status and even channel and even what are the, what are the items that place under this order. So similar to the previous report, you, we do have filters as well, where you can view even previous month as well. So it depends on uh, which uh, order that, which month that you want to view this downline order tracking report, then you can just select accordingly. So last but not least, new sign up coupon. So I believe that every leaders know that new ABO APC, after they register, they will receive coupon, right? So right now in website, you cannot trace whether have they utilized or not. So uh, you might want to remind them, okay, faster or keep them excited, right? To consume or, or use this report, uh, sorry, coupon before it expired. So this is the report that will help you. It will show you who are the ABO or APC that has new sign up coupon that expiring this month. So from here, you can clearly see by clicking on this button, then it will tell you, okay, which report that haven't used and what are the expiration date. So from here, you can see. And another good features that we have built in only in mobile business dashboard, which is coupon consent. Okay. so. It could be your downline tell you, I'm not free. I cannot, I cannot place orders. So you want to help them, right? So for sure, you need to get consent from them. So you can get consent from using from this report as well. So how can you do that? Similar to just now the renewal reminder, we have WhatsApp, SMS, email, and copy link. So the features will be the same. Just open up. Then we have pre-populate message in three languages for you. You just review which message that you want, then just click send, then there is a link for them to go in and provide consent. 
So from here, then after, after they have given their consent, then you can purchase on behalf and then apply the coupon when you place the order online in shopping cart. Okay, so even to view more, we have these features as well, filter, where you can choose to select filters via coupon status, whether they are expiring current month or even you want to see in future or expiring two months from now or by coupon consent or membership. So all this is available for you to choose. Okay. So these are all the reports that I want to share with you. So hope all the leaders learn something today and start using mobile business dashboard today. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Thank you, Amelia. So leaders, how do you like it? You like it? Right. Um, before we say goodbye, see you again, and before we kick off the Platinum meeting, please allow me to summarize just very simply three points of what I love about this mobile business dashboard. Number one, the top most popular features in the business center have been consolidated now into the mobile business dashboard. That's the first thing, right? So you want to know which of the features are the most popular and the most useful among ABO leaders, look no further, go straight to the mobile business dashboard. Number two, the reports under the business center allows you to see your APCs only your direct APCs. It doesn't allow you to see the APCs in your entire LOS. But in the mobile business dashboard, you are now able to see all the APCs within your LOS. So that is amazing. And finally, number three, you can now have, you can now see the WhatsApp action buttons and the call action buttons next to the names of your ABOs, the sponsors, and the downline APCs, making it so much more convenient for you to take immediate and timely action. So that's, in a summary, the three key points that I love about this mobile business dashboard, and we hope that you will also find it equally useful in order to run your business. So with that, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's all from myself and Minamelia. See you again very soon. Thank you.